Tell me, tell me more. Yes, okay, the, Lori, Wa uh, I say Wallace, no, Lori Cleland. <laughs> Lori was just in the toaster camp. How could she be in two places at once? Uh, you just got back from L.A. Uh, as part of a stylist with Jay Beverly Hills, kind of working the runway and the behind the scenes, showing off all the hair and makeup styles. Now, we're going to talk makeup. We already talked some of the overall looks. What do we have going on here? Okay, so I went with a Kate Moss kind of inspiration. If we go back to the 90s, we remember that Kate always looked like she maybe had one too many and was rocking the makeup from the night right, before. Right, so true. Right. So based on the colors we saw, we went with kind of a mixed metal look here. So she closes her eyes. We can take a look, and you can see that the makeup artist with me today did kind of a gold to a copper, and then we've imparted some pewter tones in here. So we're really using like a cool tone next to a warm tone. And once we have our hair styled, and you see it's going to help accentuate that color. Okay. Now, you, do you want the new lip, or I mean, there's nothing on her lips. Would you put? Well, she does on? have a tiny bit. We didn't finish her lips yet, so we'll do that in the reveal. But what we're going to do is more. Of of a warmer based matte and then we're going to put a gold over it in the peaks of the heart on the top, or lip, top lip and then right here and that will just help to enhance her pucker right hey yeah you want pink in pucker in right increase the kissability <laughs> okay all right moving over here <laughs> Um, I love this look. Okay, this is, this it looks more 80s to me though with the colors than oh, 90s. Yes. Well, that's because you're dealing with a broad who like love the <laughs> 80s, right? So we're gonna say you're gonna trend late 80s, 80s to early 90s. Okay. So the hair is more of a 90s influence, but her look once she's totally revealed. Once I saw her yesterday, like it's definitely more Molly Ringwald, yes. but street and urban still within that. So yeah, we went very like think petal pink, lavenders. Yeah. That's what we've done. We chose a matte finish on the foundation for her. It works well for her skin tone. And we're seeing that matte movement come back. Okay, so what is the iridescent that's going on here? I've never really seen it on the nose before. I understand like a highlight in yeah, the cheeks we, area. We did that because of her, the type of skin she has and the uh, foundation that we put on. And we just wanted to kind of make her glow and pop and really give this monochromatic effect that matches with the hair. And once you see her ensemble, you'll understand like why it's all come together. All right, we have about 30 seconds. So tell me a little bit about one more. And then, of course, we're going to do the full review. Sure. So when up. we get into the hair, we're going to talk about gender fluidity. Um, uh, that it, it inspired her hair, but really we're going here for real street edge punk. Yeah, right? I can and, see that. Yeah, yeah and this it. she has this girl has fierce cheekbones, right? Her facial structure, and so okay. it was really about just keeping her palette somewhat nude, but then really popping those eyes out. Hey, can you give me a little pop, like close them and then go pop? Yeah. yeah, look at that. Bam. All right, how can people get a hold of you? 530-662-4749, luluslux.com. That's L-U-L-U-S-L-U-X-E.com. Okay, and stick around. We're going to have the full reveal. We're going to bring them out and show how you can translate the runway to the streets. Tina, over Sounds to you. Sounds good, Mel. Thanks. So Rockland School Choir.